Hey everyone, Lee Livesey here. We're talking shallow power fishing for smallmouth bass. You know, they all don't live out there in 25 to 50 foot of water. A lot of smallmouth love to stay on sandy, rocky areas, grassy areas, depending on where you're at. You know, call it two to 10 foot of water is shallow in a lot of places. It's some of the funnest fishing. You can put it on big line, big hooks, big baits, and catch the biggest smallmouth bass in your lake or river system. We're gonna keep it super simple today. You know, it's visual, it's eyes and mapping. Um, time on the trolling motor, uh, you know, me, I love to look for sand flats with isolated grass patches and isolated rock piles. Um, they really love it when it's sunny. Uh, the setups and techniques are super simple. Um, you don't have to use light line and drop shot for all the smallmouths. Man, I'll pick up 20 pound test, a swim bait and a vibrating jig and boat flip five pounders. Um, you know, one of the biggest things for me is staying on my Minko to Ultrex Quest on high until I see them with my eyes. You know, a good pair of polarized glasses like my Waterland sunglasses are a must. You'll see them with your eyes most of the time. They might follow your bait or you'll just see those big old blobs out there swimming around in the sand. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna catch some great big ones. Power fishing for smallmouth bass up shallow. All right guys, some of the setups, there's, there's a wide variety of baits and rods and techniques you can catch uh, smallmouth up shallow with, but today we're power fishing with two different techniques. Um, first, a vibrating jig, super simple. You know, it's, it's, it's not a secret, just a vibrating jig. This is a jackhammer, half ounce green pumpkin, swim bait trailer uh, set up for me, Halo HFX, 7.3 uh, medium heavy casting rod, 18 to 20 pound sunline uh, sniper fluorocarbon, high speed reel, it's that simple. You're throwing that thing out there as far as you can burning it in and they smash it. Uh, that's a super simple setup, you know, green pumpkin, white, black. They're, they're usually not color shy. Chartreuse and white is great too. Super simple, that catches them all over the, all over the country for me. Uh, and then next is just a swim bait. You know, this is just a, you know, a four inch, uh, six inch swim bait, white, uh, with a six inch treble head on it. Um, it allows you to put a treble hook on there instead of a jig head. And when you hook them, that bait slides up the line so they don't throw it as easy. You know, the fish stay on the hook right here. It's just that. It's got a little screw lock that screws into the to the bait. Then uh, you put your treble where you want it. The deal is when you hook them on that, they don't come off. But that's the second technique, just a, a swim bait. You know, I like whites, uh, chartreuse and whites. Uh, line set up. This is just a Halo HFX 7.3 medium heavy. Uh, 18 pound sunline fluorocarbon shooter or sniper. Uh, that six inch, head, six inch head, treble head is a three eighths ounce. And that's a Gamagatsu number five G finesse treble, medium heavy, super simple. Throw it out there as far as you can or where you're seeing those fish and, and just reel it in nice and steady. They thump, thump it, hook them, boat flip them. Power fishing, shallow for smallmouth bass. Let's go put the trolling motor in the water and see if we can catch some. All right, everybody, you know, we're, we're talking smallmouth bass up shallow power fishing. What am I looking for then? Uh, like I said previously, I'm looking for sand flats, sand flats with isolated grass, isolated rock piles, um, anything like that. Uh, the smallmouth really, really love to stay shallow on sand with a little bit of, you know, shrimp grass mixture or, or rock piles. So when I go to my hummingbird grass, I look at my lake master, I'm looking for big flats. You know, here's just a, a key example of a big flat you know all this water is deeper deeper this red is real shallow four foot or less and then that blue is up to about six foot of water so i'm just going to put my trolling motor in the water on these grass you see there's a little high spot out there might be a rock pile out there uh any of these little edges like this that are a little bit different might have some rock or anything on this flat i'm just going to put my trolling motor down and just start mowing this flat down out on the outside edge, look at some of these higher spots, some of these contour changes, this little point right here, until I see a, a fish, obviously, or like I said, a rock pile, anything isolated like that. I'm gonna use my eyes, my waterland sunglasses, 
I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be making really long casts, just burning those baits in until I catch a fish or see a fish. Super simple, looking at flats and small little isolated changes on the flats. It's that simple, guys. Let's go catch some bass.